Hi, my name is TJ King, and I'm the host of The Peahens Ponderings, a podcast for fiber artists. In this video, I will show you how to use a self-leader, that is, using the yarn that you're in the process of spinning as a backstop for the spinning process. Not all drop spindles include a notch or groove that provides a place where the yarn stops rather than spinning freely around the spindle, but you don't really need one once you know how to use a self-leader. To start with, I'm going to hook just a small amount of fiber on the hook of the spindle. So you can see there I've just got a small amount hooked and I'm just going to start spinning. And as the twist is added to this yarn, and we begin to draft, you see we've got a nice piece of yarn for me here. The leader needs to be long enough to go around the whorl, wrap around the shaft, and then come back up the whorl. So if you have a larger whorled spindle like this one, it's about three inches, you're going to need a longer leader than if you have a smaller spindle. So I'm going to continue drafting my leader this is a great opportunity to use Park and Draft if you're still relatively new to spinning. Um, if you're not familiar with Park and Draft, it's a technique where you perhaps put the spindle between your knees or underneath your arm, which allows you to use both hands while you're drafting because the spindle is otherwise parked and out of the way so you can focus on that drafting process. So at this point, I believe I've got enough of a leader. So it's important to make sure that the yarn goes around the back of the hook, down the spindle whorl, and you see how if I don't do something to stop it, it just continues to spin around the whorl. And I'm gonna use a finger temporarily to stop its spinning and wrap that yarn around the shaft and then come back up right where I went down with the yarn in the first place. So if you can see there's now two pieces of yarn right there, one right next to the other. And what that's going to do is prevent the yarn that I'm in the process of spinning from moving freely around the whorl while the spindle is in motion. It only takes a little bit of practice and it really works very effectively. As you continue spinning and winding your cop on, it'll serve to lock down that leader even more tightly so that you can continue to take advantage of it as you're spinning. Now, with a Spanish peacock spindle, you don't even really need the leader. It's a nice to have, but it's not necessary, especially once you get a little bit more experience. And in fact, I'll even demonstrate that for you as well. I can remove the leader altogether. I can try to remove the leader. And as long as my yarn comes behind the hook as it's coming up to continue spinning, I don't know how well you can see that, but I have got the yarn coming up from the whorl directly into the back of the spindle hook. And what this does is it makes sure that that yarn is directly above the center of the whorl, which means it doesn't have any reason to spin. There's nothing pulling on it, encouraging it to spin. So as you can see here, I continue drafting Drop spinning is not my forte, by the way, so hopefully I don't embarrass myself too badly at any point here. And there you go. Even without a leader, as long as you're careful how the yarn goes into the hook, the yarn does not end up spinning around the whorl while the whorl is in motion. Ta-da! I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to see any additional videos, please leave a comment below. Thank you. I'll see you next time.